doing some exercises for our tilts, which I have always been a really big fan of tilts. I think they're really pretty and I'm just like, I like legs. It's like one of the few legs that I can kind of do. So I'm gonna show you some exercises that are very helpful. We're also gonna start out with some stretching. When you stretch, you're gonna need a wall for a couple of them. If you don't have the wall, just like skip those stretches, whatever. Make sure you warm up before you start this. You can watch my warm up video. I'll link it up here and down below. And do some stretching prior to these stretches or else it's not gonna be a fun time. I also have plenty of stretching on my channel and I'll put them all below. First, what I want you to do is just go ahead. Hopefully you're already warm and you've stretched a little bit. Don't come into this completely cold and unstretched or it's not gonna be a fun time. To be honest, I have stretched quite a bit already and I've even been like sitting in my splits for like 10 minutes because I was watching TikToks. So, you know, if you want to get the stretching over with, just watch TikToks. Follow me on TikTok. Okay, anyway, let's drop into this stretch. I had too much caffeine today and I'm like going a little crazy. So I really like this sumo stretch, but just make sure that you are like sinking your hips down and that you're not pushing your booty out like this. You want to be right over your hips as if if you straighten your legs out in the air right now, you'd be in like a nice second position thingy. So, you know, just drop down in that. We're gonna hang out here for a minute. And if you so desire, you can take one of your hands and push one of your knees outward a little bit. And let's switch and do the other side. And just hang out here for another second. Okay, now what I want you to do is go ahead and straighten out one leg here. And I really like sitting in this stretch. Just make sure that your knee is not going past your toe. It should be just like right at a little 90 degree angle just over your toe. And you want to do like the same thing that I was just talking about with that other stretch where you make sure that your hips are basically rotated under. So I don't know how to explain that very well, but you don't want to be like this. You don't want your butt in the air, okay? Make sure that you're sitting in it, trying to get those hips sinking down toward the floor. And we're gonna switch to the other side now. Same thing over here. Okay, let's go back to the other side again. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. I always feel like a spider when I do this stretch. Okay, you can sit down now. Shake it out for a second. I know it's a little bit painful. Why don't we go ahead and go out into our, um, what is this called, straddle? And here you just want to make sure that you know your your legs are not going too far back that you're keeping them rotated under and they should be kind of slightly in front of your true side wherever you can get them so that they feel rotated and you feel like your hips are under and from here why don't we just go ahead and walk our hands forward trying to keep those legs and those knees facing um, up toward the ceiling Now, all of these stretches that we're doing are excellent things to start adding into your daily stretching um, if you're working on your tilts and if you're struggling with these stretches, just a little bit every single day will be very helpful. I don't know, I feel like very tight right now. I took two classes last night, and you guys know, I've been doing these 25 days of technique, so I've been basically dancing nonstop, and my body can feel it. 
Okay, so now is where you want to use your wall. So I'm going to turn around now and we're basically going to do this, but against the wall and you're going to try and pull yourself close to the wall. Okay, so, well, this might not really work for me because my wall is not quite long enough. Oh, I guess it is. We'll make it work. So just trying to scoot yourself as close as you can to the wall. And we'll hang out here for like 30 seconds. So just relax, take deep breaths in and out. Hopefully you can hear me. seconds in this position. Okay, so now you're going to basically do the same thing. You're going to do your straddle again, but you're going to sit your booty up close to the wall and open your legs out. And with this one, um, you can just keep it like this, or if you want to get a deeper stretch, you can put some kind of very light weights on your ankles. Don't do anything too heavy, or you could even just wear like heavy shoes that you have. I know like girls in my studio used to do that, but just please be very careful. Make sure that you're not doing anything crazy and injuring, potentially injuring your body. If you do need ankle weights, I do have my code for the El Toro training speed wraps and I'll link it below. Um, I've talked about those in another video, but you can check them out. Use my code to get 15% off. But yeah, we're going to sit like this now, up against the wall, and we're just going to open up our legs. And if you don't have any kind of weight or anything, you can just very gently press your knees down or press it like your, what are these called, inner thighs you want to make sure that your legs are staying nice and straight and that you're rotating those hips under as well. Just a few more seconds here and then we should be able to stand up and get some exercises going. Okay, and release. Okay, so for this exercise you really want to concentrate on using your turnout and you want to think about how you're going to be bringing your leg through that bent position to go into your tilt and so what you're going to do is go from your hands on your knees. You are going to pick up one of your legs and it's going to stay in this exact same shape here. So this like 90 degree angle, you're going to pick that leg up, bring it to the side. You're using this muscle right here, your glute to pull it up. You're not, you're leaning kind of with the knee, but at the same time, it's initiating from your glute muscle. So you're going to go up two, three, Four, make sure you pick up this hand so you're kind of testing your balance here and you're squeezing so hard both booty cheeks should be squeezing and you're trying to get this knee to open as much as possible then you're gonna hold two three four then down two three four and then again we'll just bring it up like that so you bring it up hold for four bring it down squeeze 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 that's all I can tell you and you're gonna have to hold your core tight as well so you're not wobbling around too much okay I'm just going to count us out, nothing fancy, and let's try and do like eight on each leg. I think that's good. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring it up. Two, three, four. Now hold. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Two, 
three, four. Again, two, three, four, and hold. Squeeze, 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 bring it down. Two, three, four. We're on three, two, three, four. You're holding. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Two, three, four. Now four. Two, three, four, and hold. Three, four. Bring it down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Squeeze. Two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four. Again. Three, four, and hold. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Two, three, four, up. Two, three, four, and hold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Down. Two, three, four. Last time. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Two, three, four. You should really feel that like in your hips and in your booty. Um, I hope that we did eight. I kind of lost count and I just went with it. Let's move on to the other side now. For me, this side is extra hard. I'm probably going to struggle to count, but we're here together. So, hands and knees. Key here, you got to make sure that you're like in an actual tabletop position, right? You're not like too far forward now. You're not arching your back. You're right here. Hands are under your shoulders. Tummy's tight and strong. This left leg or whatever your standing leg, supporting leg, is really driving into the ground, pushing you to hold yourself up. Okay, let's do it. I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna mess up the counts for this one. Here we go. And five, six, seven, eight. You bring it up. Two, three, four. You hold. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Two, three, four. Now two, two, three, four. And hold. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Two, three, four. Now three, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Down. Two, three, four. Is this five? Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Four and down. Two, three, four. Go six. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Down. Two, three, four. Seven. Two, three, four. Hold and squeeze. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Two, three, four. Last one. Two, three, four. And hold. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Two, three, four. Awesome. From here, you are going to straighten that leg out. So instead of going one, two, three, four, hold two, three, four, you're gonna go, see if I can do it. One, two, three, four, straighten two, three, four. Then we'll go bend two, three, four, down two, three, four. So you're going up two, three, four, straighten two, three, four, bend two, three, four, down two, three, four. Now the key here, and I'm not sure I'm doing it because I can't see myself right now, but you want to hold that position as turned out as you possibly can get it with that knee. You just simply need to bring that knee, sh or like straighten that leg up, bring it back down, close it in. Easier said than done for sure, but that's the exact motion that you'll be doing in the air. You're just gonna have a straightened bottom leg. So practice this. Let's do it. Let's try eight and eight again. All right, here we go. Deep breath in. You got this, guys. And just so you know, my floor makes a lot of noises. It's not me, promise. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Bend it, two, three, four. Then straighten it, two, three, four. Then bend it, two, three, four. Bring it down, two, three, four. Again, bring it up, straighten it out, two, three, four. Bend, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, squeeze and straighten, two, three, four, and bend, two, three, and in, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, and straighten, two, three, four, bend, two, three, four, bring it down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, bend, two, three, four, bring it down, and six, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, I'm shaking, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and straighten, two, three, four, bend, 
two, three, four, down, two, three, four, last time, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, bend, two, three, four, I think I did that one wrong, I'm so sorry, you get the point, switch sides, I feel it, I feel it real hard, here we go guys, we're going to be so strong in our tilts after this, promise, it's worth it, here we go, other side, Let's see if I can get my counting skills together. And five, six, seven, eight. Bend, two, three, four. Straighten, two, three, four. Bend, two, three, four. Bring it down, two, three, four. And up, two, three. And straighten, two, three, four. Bend, two, three, four. And in, two, three, four. Go three, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, bend, two, three, four, and in, three, four, up, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, bend, two, three, four, and in, three, four, go up, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, bend, two, three, four, and in, Go up, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, I'm barely holding on, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, bend, two, three, and then last time, go bend and squeeze and straighten it up, bend, two, three, and down, two, three, four. Woo! Shake it out. I know that was hard. All right, y'all. I know that was not super fun. I don't like it either, but it helps with your tilts because one thing that happens with a lot of people when they're tilting is that they literally start tilting their hips forward instead of getting their extension and tilting the hips to the side. So what I mean by that is that instead of going here and then shifting it over, a lot of people will go here, shift it forward, and we don't want that. We want the shift to be over, okay? And so having those turnout muscles, those glutes, really working and firing and being able to hold that leg is so important. So the other thing that I think is really important for your tilt is to be able to stretch and get that extension truly up to the side and not try and fake it like to the front and turn it in. So all we're gonna do right now is go, bring your arm up, grab onto that foot, bring it up to the side, straighten your knee, hold, 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 tendu, and in. Then you go up, grab, bring it up, straighten, hold, 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 tendu, and in. Like I just mentioned, you want to make sure that those hips are staying rotated under and that might mean that your hip is a little bit um, in front of you, your whole leg is a little bit in front of you, and make sure that you're not leaning forward, okay? Here we go, my friends. Five, six, seven, eight. You reach one, two, three, four. Bring it up, six, seven, eight. Straighten, two, three, four. Tendu, and in. Again, one, two, three, four. Straighten up, two, three, Four, straighten your leg. Two, three, four, tendu, and in. Again, and grab, bring it up, and hold. Straighten, two, three, four, tendu, and in. Bring it up, two, three, four, straighten out. Two, three, four, straighten bottom leg. Two, three, four, tendu, and in. Again, straighten it up, I mean bend. I'm saying the wrong words. And hold, two, three, four, tendu, and in. Let's do one more. Grab your foot, bring it up, six, seven, eight. Straighten it, two, three, four, tendu, and in. Talking, thinking, doing technique at the same time, clearly very hard for me, so thanks for sticking around if you're here. Other side now. Here we go, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, grab three, four, bring it up, six, seven, 
eight, straighten, two, three, four, tendu, and in. Again, one, two, grab three, four, bring it up, six, seven, eight, straighten, two, three, four, tendu, and in. Here we go, three, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, tendu, and in. Again, and grab, bring it up, two, three, four, straighten, two, three, four, tendu, and in. Here we go, bring it up, and grab, up, and straighten, hold, two, three, four, tendu, and down. Try not to do what I'm doing here, which is leaning too much, straighten, two, three, four, straighten, hold, tendu, and in. Three more, up, and grab, hold it up, and straighten, hold one, two, three, four, tendu, and in, bring it up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, straighten, two, three, four, tendu, and in, last time, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, tendu, and in. Okay, friends. So now when you go to do your actual tilts, there are a bunch of different ways to get into it. Um, if you're doing the jump, obviously, you're gonna have to just go step, step, brush, kick, or some people bend it and kick it up. I don't know, it's up to you. But you wanna concentrate on keeping those hips rotated and just tilting the body over. A lot of times, you have the tilt, you're just not tilting your body, if that makes sense. So you just need to think Think long, think looking over that hand and shooting down that way. You're not gonna fall down that way, I guarantee you. So if you're doing your run, run, tilt, jump, just think about looking down at your hand and you're gonna get that pretty tilt. You're never gonna fall that way. There's no way that your weight is gonna cause you to fall that way, I promise. So work on that. And then when you do your, like, your tilt um, extensions, just from like here, still really make sure that you're rotating and that you're not letting that knee go forward. All right, friends, I know this was a painful day. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned for my next video, which will be tomorrow. Bye.